walkthrough video for you. This one's a little bit different, so it's a Highlander with super stall gear. Something a little different. So, anyways, we'll just kind of do the same thing, walk around it, go over it, and show you everything about it. All right, so there's a broad picture of it. Like I said, it's, so it's a Highlander. It's got a Rotax 912 with a big bore kit from Ronnie Smith down in Mississippi. Uh, and it's got super stall gear, super stall tail wheel. So first thing you might notice is the paint is a little different. It's like a copper color, really. Kind of turns a little more orange in the sun, but it's got a ton of metallic in it. I think it's pretty cool. We dubbed this plain penny because it looks like a copper penny. Uh, anyways, moving on. So standard Highlander wing with the fiberglass tips and it's all uh, super flight top coat paint like I said it's got the 912 hundred and I don't know what they 112 115 horse for the big board kit um, got a Kiev prop everything's pretty standard there and then yeah what is different is obviously this super stall gear uh, it's something the customer opted for when he ordered his kit through Just Aircraft. And he just, he liked the super stall gear a little better, so they went ahead and put it on. Got the 29 inch Alaska Bush wheels. We got Matco brakes on this one. Got a little side kick panel window. This one has the extreme windshield, which I, I like. Um, a little more sleek looking, get more visibility. It's pretty cool, I think. So, a little picture of the side. And we got the welded doors and windows. Pretty much put those in all of them now. The upper window opens up, it's really nice. And let's see, you got our landing wigwag lights. Um work our way standard baggage door and it's all super flight painted on the inside as well at the gray got a little uh, access door down here for that aft bulkhead all right we got the standard tail on this one. We didn't do the flying tail because um, I was a little worried about weight on the back end of this one because it has a parachute in it, which I'll show you in a minute. And I'm glad I didn't put it on there because that parachute is a little heavy. So um, it's all well within the weight and balance, but that extra weight back there with the flying tail could have potentially gave us an issue. So glad I didn't do it. And this tail works fine for the standard Highlander. Oh, it's got the super stall tail wheel with the Pecola locking tail wheel. Got a cool mountain scheme on this thing and that paint just really, I don't know if you can see it really through the camera, but man, it is pretty sweet. Every time I come out here in the sun, it grows on me. I like it more and more. Anyways, maybe that's just me, but I think it's cool. Um, got some gap seals, rudder, elevator gap seals, get you a little view of the back here, and we're just starting the phase one testing, so doing the task based testing on this one as well, did a little black uh, paint scheme up here on the fuel panels to kind of match the wing layout, see if I can get you a view of that yeah. alright let's go to the inside alright we'll start off with the panel here so really nice panel that ended up getting uh, got the G3X got a G5 standby got the Garmin Calm and then we did these uh, toggle switches that are lit up. I don't know if you can see them or not, um, but they light up as you 
turn them on and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and this one put electric flaps in it. And I really like them. They're super fast. I know everybody says, oh, they're not fast enough for these airplanes, but I'm going to tell you, I'll run them here in a second and I'll show you that they are. Oh, uh, let's see. You got a nice glare shield up here with the antenna. There's, there's your view out of that extreme windshield. Really nice. Uh, let's see. Like I said, we got Matco. This one has vertical power which is really neat. Um, I don't know if you can see when I go into the menu here or not with this camera, but here's the vertical power uh, screen on it, and you can scroll through, turn stuff on and off here, or with your switches, depending on how you have it set up, and it'll show you all your amp draw and everything. I like it. Um, I think it's really cool, actually. Let's see what else we got. Some bent sticks like those. Um, so here is the parachute activation handle. So pilot, co pilot can both reach it. And then the parachute itself is mounted right here. Um, this turtle deck is actually all fabric. So covered it and it's designed to. The rocket and all the straps are just going to blow through this big fabric. The whole thing is basically fabric except for the exterior frame. And you can see all the straps right here uh, going up. And they all tie in to the rear head rack tube and the forward head rack tube. So basically it's going to rip through this turtle deck. Uh, it should zipper off the Lexan and suspend by all four points of the parachute. The parachute itself is mounted down here behind the co-pilot seat. And this was a little bit of a challenge. I'd never done one before, but I think it worked out really well. There's some brackets I kind of had to make up here behind the pulleys so it wouldn't rub on pulleys and it would get over, you know, this bracket back here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, it's a little tricky to be honest but like I said I think uh, hopefully it's never used but if it is I feel pretty confident that it's going to work. So there's that. Um, shoot that's pretty much it. Oh the electric flaps. I almost forgot. So let's see if I can um, see if I can get the button and the flaps in the same frame here so you can see it. All right, one, two, three. Fold down. So it's pretty quick. Back up. And the cool part is put it right here by the throttle. Um, set them to whatever, 15, 20 degrees for takeoff if you want. Full throttle. And right as you bring the tail up, you can just bump that the rest of the way and it just pops you right up off the ground and of course we have all our indicators on the screen right there we have electric trim flaps and I set some presets right there for flap degrees and the electric trim so so the flap actuator is mounted right here it's just a linear actuator and I don't know if you can see attach the cables to it and then I also put a micro switch down there so it stops on the upside in the correct spot every time so what's cool about that micro switch is you can actually you could move it and play around with it and set some negative flaps if you have your flaps trimmed enough um, you know maybe get a little more cruise speed I don't know we haven't played with it yet but we might so anyways back up get you Another cool view, but there she is. And like I said, we just started flying it, um, maybe an hour on it. The weather's been kind of bad and really windy here, so haven't been able to do a whole lot of flying on it. But really cool build. This one's going up to New York, and I think he's really gonna enjoy it, so. 
you guys are thinking about building one or building one already um, hit me up give me a call I can give you some help I also have a video uh, manual on my website that will help you build these things a lot easier and faster so check it out thanks for watching guys on to the next one